we see the ren architecture uh, we have uh, uh, you know a distributed unit we have centralized unit and we have uh, you know the radio unit okay and uh, you know in in legacy network uh, you know when we talk about 4g uh, uh, these uh, you know D, du and cu was called as uh, you know baseband unit bbus or e node bs directly okay and those were uh, you know uh, uh, mostly the hardware affair so we used to have baseband unit over that we used to have the protocol stacks now what is protocol stack we need to understand that you know this bbu or this cu do has to you know communicate with your mobile that is your mo ui right this bbu has to communicate with your uh, ui so for that we need to follow some rules right and that rules being given by your protocol stacks and that protocol stacks includes you know uh, different different layers starting from your uh, you know rru then you know we have pdcp then we have rlc then we have mac and then we have file layer which is you know this protocol stack is based out of your uh, osi layer which you have gone through maybe in your graduation days or something like that but when we talk about you know this is your 5g technology okay both are being uh, you know taken care by 3gpp uh, you know specifications but uh, why we have this du and cu in picture because uh, you know uh, 3gpp wants this now to be uh, you know uh, uh, to be your uh, virtualized affair okay instead of having the hardware card bbu something like that well, you know, it came up with the virtualization and, uh, you know, uh, DU and CU has been disaggregated, like BBU has been disaggregated into DU and CU. And um, even here also, we used to have RRH or radio unit. And this radio unit will be connected with uh, RF antenna. And this RF antenna used to radiate the signals towards UE. This is your UE. Okay. The UE is your mobile. Okay. So this is how communication happens. Here also the concept is same, but we have bring this into, you know, uh, a virtualization kind of a concept and DU and CU is now, um, you know, this DU is looking into three layers that is your, you know, um, but first before uh, going into that, we'll, we'll be moving towards CU. So CU will be looking into RRC, SDAP is a new, uh, this uh, uh, stack layer, RRC, SDAP and PDCP. And when we talk about DU, DU talks about, uh, DU looks into, uh, you know, RLC, MAC and PI. Okay. So this is what, you know, now uh, DU and CU corresponds to. And this is your, uh, you know, virtualized F. Instead of any hardware, BBU cards or something like that, we have, uh, you know, DU, CU and RU and uh, DU takes care of i mac and uh, rlc and that two phi is totally l1 part okay and phi has been uh, you know uh, disaggregated into low and high and uh, you know uh, phi has its own processing uh, you know starting from you know crc attach and all those things um you know uh, we need to understand this concept of you know what rrc does what sdep do what as pdcp does you know, um, what RLC does, Mac and file layer. So this is how, you know, things has been changed from 4G. Um, this this is as per 3GPP specification. Okay. Uh, this is your radio unit. This is, you know, your, uh, when, when I talk about, uh, you know, uh, an interface that is called as front hall interface, which is based out of your enhanced CPRI, enhanced common public radio interface. Even they, here also, we used to have, uh, you know, here, we used to have this, uh, we called it as common public radio interface in 4G, okay. But now, uh, as ORIN, you know, ORIN definition, where ORIN fits over here, this is 4G, 5G, right. ORIN fits is like, we have, first of all, DU, CU and RU, okay. DU and CU is uh, virtualized. Okay, I'll come to that part also that how, you know, if it is virtualized, how we are going to have, uh, you know, this to be installed and where it has to be installed. Okay, um, uh, you know, uh, where it has to be installed and, uh, you know, we will discuss about, about that also. And, uh, you know, but this, this is called as front hall 
you know ecpri and uh, uh, the main uh, role main goal of oren you know is like uh, we need to open this up what is what was happening in 4g or 3g or legacy technologies if you are using bbu from let's say a vendor ericsson right so you have to use rrh also from ericsson so this is your ran part right bbu and rrh and everything this is your ran part right so they are saying that uh, you have to use the radio from uh, that particular vendor and this is becoming a monopoly and uh, you know uh, then in, in 2016 oren alliance has been created by big operators like at&t and big vendors and they came up with a solution that uh, we need not to have uh, you know as uh, 3gpp helped us that du is from you know du is a software cu is a software now ru is the only one which is you know a hardware affair so we can open this up and we can use you know softwares and hardware from different different vendors okay why this this thought comes into the mind of you know big operators like at and you know tmo and you know verizon um, you know and uh, big big vendors like uh, you know over here vodafone is also one of them you know big vendors like you know that has been developed you know redis is mavenir uh, you know there are lots of vendors also joined this and you know this comes from the fact that uh, you know the uh, the 5g uh, or you know the core the lte epc okay lte epc also uh, you know it is also a part of your openness okay so if you if you see from you know if any one of you were working in you know this um, uh, core side okay you must have seen that uh, we have different different uh, uh, what you can see uh, say different different uh, uh, nodes right like starting from mme pgw right sgw hss so you must have seen that in a network which is being deployed you are using hss from different vendor pgw you know mme from different vendor diameter uh, or you can say you know the the links the interfaces from different aspects or sgw from different vendor so how they bought this because first they have bought into the virtualization aspects and then they have bring this um, you know the openness into the core so this thought when when we can have the brain of your telecommunication that is the core right is in in the form of openness then why not ran so you know in 2016 we came up with uh, you know this kind of uh, you know uh, alliance which talks about that okay we will be using du cu and ru from different different vendors and we have uh, you know uh, the front hall being you know the 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 major challenge because uh, you know whatever we are sending you know basically it is over here it is du and cu is like this okay du and ru is connected so let me draw one one diagram for you guys okay now this is your you know a ran architecture okay and uh, here i'll be you know talking about uh, you know this is your uh, and one more aspect comes into picture is like uh, cu has been disaggregated into cu cp and up so you know um, when i talk about cu cp and up so you know uh, uh, cp will be taking care of your uh, you know um, cp will be taking care of your uh, rrc so let's let's say this is your cu cp okay then uh, we have something called cu up right so this is your uh, you know uh, cu up and let's say this is your du right so this is your du and uh, i'll be considering it as a radio unit which is connected with one um, you know antenna let it be like this so this is your antenna okay so this is your red architecture this guy is connected with you know again core is a virtualized affair it can be you know into you know a host this is your 5g c okay now this is the time to have you know the uh, you know the uh, interfaces to be defined this is your ngc or ngap which is from cocp to amf right and 
then COCP to UP, we have an interface. We call it as E1C or E1AP, CUUP to DU. This is called as F1U interface, CUCP to DU. It is called as F1C or F1AP interface. DU to RU, this is called as front hall interface. That is your ECPRI. Now, 3GBP has defined NGAP, E1AP, F1U, F1AP, everything. But 3GBP have not defined anything about, you know, ECPRI. Okay. I mean to say, you know, because they say that, uh, you know, RU is from the same vendor. So we will be having common public radio interface. And, uh, you know, there are very less, uh, you know, parameters has been defined in inside your RU that is, uh, you know, related to your transmit uh, arrays, carriers and all those things. I mean to say, you know, from DU to RU, we need to, if we need to open everything, we need to work on this interface that is your front hall interface. <clears throat> so, you know, this is what Oren, you know, saw the challenge when, uh, you know, when they talk about like, okay, we will open this up. Okay. So we need to understand, you know, the front hall interface. Okay. Whenever you know, a packet is moving from DU to RU and then from RU to your, you know, this is how it is radiating to a mobile. Okay. To a mobile. This is your, let's say UE. Okay. UE. So your signal is going like this. Okay. So this is what your RAN architecture, but in that we have to, we, we have introduced ORAN architecture. Okay. So what ORAN says is, you know, we first need to look into this part. Okay. We need to have a compliance. Now, 3GPP have their own specifications. Like, you know, uh, when I talk about, uh, you know, uh, let's say F1AP, right? So for F1AP, I have 38.463. Uh, okay. Uh, like for NGAP, I think it is 38.413. Okay. So we have different, different specifications for, you know, each um interface for each node all those things so but oran is also coming up with their own specifications now okay so the specification being called by oran alliance is working groups okay so we have around 11 working groups which include lots of things okay so when we talk about oran architecture so oran architecture has been covered in working group 1 okay uh, we will we will talk about oran architecture more again okay and when we talk about you know this part that is our you know covered in working group four okay so we will talk about this also okay so this is what your oran or ran architecture talks about this is also not proper oran architecture i'll go to the oran architecture also okay but this is a ran architecture where how we are connected with Okay, these are NGAP, F1AP, E1AP, F1U, FN, FH, you know, front hall, um, which is being defined, you know, by, you know, if, if you are into uh, 5G network, it is your uh, ORAN, uh, it, it is your normal front hall. But if you talk about, you know, uh, ORAN, you need to go ahead with ECPRI, Enhanced CPRI, Common Public Radio Interface. We have a payload for that you know, again, that has been defined in your uh, working group four. okay, transport headers being taken care by your enhanced CPRI as well as radio over Ethernet. It depends upon what methodology you are going to use. Okay, so now coming to